Imagine you're standing by the window with a nice cup of coffee or maybe a tea in your hand. Here, if you're in a safe space, close your eyes. Let's go somewhere in our mind. Imagine yourself at your window, just looking out. Maybe you got a sweater on, maybe a sweatshirt, something comfortable, coffee in hand. Outside, the sky fills with clouds. The day is kind of gray, uncertain. <sighs> it's another one of those days, you say. The weather mirrors something that's uh, inside of you. These days feel like a, a tight sweater, right? Kind of constricting, kind of just uh, not really too comfortable to begin with. But why do we crave blue skies? Really, serious question. I mean, what's wrong with a cloudy day? I mean, cloudy days, they're, they're different. They ask us to slow down, to reflect, and we generally resist. We're taught to seek the sun. We're taught to chase clear skies. But cloudy skies, they have their own clarity. They bring a softer world, um, a muted landscape, right? It's not always about the brightness. Sometimes it's more about the depth. And cloudy days, well, they're like life. They're challenging sometimes. They, they cover up the joy, right? Like clouds hide the sun. But remember, the sun is always there, just as our strength is always there, even through difficult times. In these days of overcast skies, they teach us and help us grow. They remind us that life isn't always about being bright and being visible and rainbows. Sometimes it's more about being quiet. Sometimes it's more about being reflective. So I want you to think about this. When was the last time you embraced a cloudy day? Not just in the sky, but in your life. When did you last acknowledge the value of a day that wasn't bright and clear? I'm Chad Lawson, and let's calm it down in three, two, one. And these days, these cloudy days, they are when plans fell, when spirits sink and brightness oh, dims. It's a time of questioning, choices, paths, our own steps that we've been taking. The world feels almost out of step, feels misaligned, like a puzzle with a stubborn beast that just doesn't fit anywhere. It's life's way of showing us not all days are clear. Not all paths are straight. And some days are about facing the uneven, the uncertain, and they teach us about resilience, about enduring, and in the quiet of a gray day, amidst the whispers of the wind and the weight of the cloud, there's truth. Do you hear that? In the quiet of a gray day, there's truth, unadorned, just real truth. Life isn't always clear skies. It's also these heavy, cloud-laden moments compelling us to find our way through. It's not always bright. It's a mix. It's a mix of clear and cloudy with some storms there. People often say, you know, every cloud has a silver lining. But what if... Just for today, we let the clouds just be clouds. What if we didn't try to find a silver lining and just accepted the gray day as it is? Some days are hard, and a lot of times we just want to dismiss that and completely pretend they don't exist. <laughs> There's a story of this old fisherman, and he was known for sailing out no matter the weather. 
right? On sunny days, he loved the warmth. On cloudy days, he liked the soft light that turned the sea into a mirror. In this story, he once said something that stayed with me, and it says, the sea remains the sea, regardless of the sky above. It just exists. And so do I. Hmm. The sea remains the sea, regardless of the sky above. You know, we are like the sea. Our deepest self stays the same, whether the days are sunny or cloudy. And the fisherman's way of accepting both kinds of days as part of life that can't be changed teaches us something really important. So I want to look more closely at what it means to get through the hard days. It's not just getting through them or waiting for them to end. It's about really understanding. And it's about really accepting them. Cloudy days are not just hurdles. They're not just nuisances or annoyances. They're just a part of the day. They're essential. They teach us to be strong. They teach us to be patient. They teach us to be okay with being uncomfortable. They remind us that it's normal to have times when we're not okay. That is part of being human. Speaking of taking care of ourselves during these cloudy days, I want to talk about something that's been a game changer for me. It's called Dose. Please listen to me because I love this. It's an organic wellness shot that is specifically designed to support your liver, a vital organ that, like us on our cloudy days, does so much lifting. I've incorporated Dose into my daily routine and the difference it has made in my energy levels and overall well-being is amazing. What I love about Dose is it's completely clean ingredients, no sugar, no calories. It's scientifically backed, USDA organic, non-GMO, and vegan. Not to mention it comes in a sustainable glass bottle, which I actually really appreciate. I've been particularly impressed by how Dose utilizes potent ingredients like curcumin from turmeric and milk thistle and ginger and all in forms that are far more powerful than what you find in just standard juices or powders. It's like getting the best of these ingredients in one shot. Since I have started taking dose, I've noticed a huge improvement in my focus and digestion. It's like giving a boost to your body's filter system, your liver. And let's face it, our liver, come on, it deserves all the support it can get, considering the vital role that it plays in our health. For all the Comment Down listeners, Dose is offering a fantastic deal. You get 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you describe for monthly delivery. It's a total whopping 30% off your first order. So just go to dosedaily.co backslash calm and use the code calm. Again, that's dosedaily.co, C-O, backslash, calm. Use the code calm to invest in your health and support your liver with dose. Now, take a moment to think about that cloudy day. The world changes. Colors begin, uh, they begin to soften. Sounds, they get quieter. There's a calmness. There's something beautiful about this quietness, right? It's, it's like a gentle, sad song that touches a hidden part of your soul. And we often miss this beauty in the quiet and the gentle. We're always after happiness and success and constant brightness and just the, the go and the shiny and the new. And we forget to see the value in the quiet times that come with cloudy days. These moments that let us slow down, they let us think, and they let us actually connect with ourselves more deeply. We're not distracted by the shiny. We're not distracted by the outside. Navigating cloudy days in our life, yes, it can be challenging. So how do we do it without feeling overwhelmed? 
It might be difficult, but it's not impossible. Here, write these down. I'm going to give you a few tips, if you will. You ready? The first one, acknowledge and accept. First, you have to recognize your feelings. You have to accept, you know what? It's cloudy outside. It is a cloudy day, both outside and in your mind. And there's no need to resist or pretend that it's sunny. I'm going to say that again. There's no need to pretend that it's sunny. And I don't mean outside. Because when you begin to accept this, you begin to bring in peace. And you begin to allow yourself to feel without self-judgment. Acknowledge and accept. The next one is then to be present in this. On a cloudy day, be in the moment. Feel the coolness of the air. Watch the clouds move. Listen to the rain if it falls. Because being present helps you experience life as it really is. I mean, how often does it rain? Unless you live in Seattle or Northern Europe, it's quite often. But how often do you get to experience even walking outside in the rain, right? Sometimes it's things like that that we just try to avoid, but how often do you take the chance to be present? So on a cloudy day, be present, be in the moment, feel the difference of what it may be. Number three, self-compassion. Treat yourself kindly. Don't judge yourself for feeling down. It's okay. Just like you wouldn't blame the sky for being cloudy, don't judge yourself for not being up, for not being dancing, for not being all smiles. Give yourself the space to just be. Be kind to yourself. Some days, they're just hard. And then the next number four, connect with others. When you share your experiences with someone, it can truly lighten the mood. Talk to a friend, have some tea together, or share some thoughts and just... Connecting with others can really brighten even the gloomiest of days. It pulls you out of sometimes those long emotional rabbit holes that we chase after. And sometimes it's good to have another hand or a shoulder to kind of lift you up from those rabbit holes, right? So connect with someone. When you share your experiences, it definitely lightens the mood. Next, number five, and this is the last one. I do hope you're writing these down. This is probably the most important one, at least in my book, I think. Reflect. Reflection is the most important thing, in my opinion, when it comes to mental and emotional wellness. Use this time to reflect. Ask yourself what your feelings are trying to tell you. Oof. How often do we actually stop and ask ourselves, how am I? On a scale from one to 10, how am I today? But take this time, take this time to reflect, take this time to pause, take this time to enjoy the stillness and ask yourself, how are you feeling? And what are these feelings trying to tell you? Is there something in your life that you need to address or you need to change or maybe release? You know, the interesting thing about rain, going off script here, is if you think about the clouds, right? They hold this moisture for as long as they can. And then eventually it has to be released. And the amazing thing about what it is releasing, which is rain, that rain is nourishment to the ground. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm seriously just improvising right here. But I mean, that's so like, and so special to think about. Those dark clouds that are above, they're dark because they're full of, you know, moisture, of condensation, of rain. And when they release that, when they release that rain, 
that rain is new chance. But it only happens by the clowns letting go. So take this time to reflect and realize the importance of what you've been holding and how important it is to let it go. Because when you let go of what it is you're trying to hold, you're allowing yourself to be free, to nourish, and to no longer be heavy. Use this time to reflect. What are your feelings trying to tell you? So with this, I want to give you a couple of things to reflect on. Okay? Have you ever really noticed how a cloudy day it can be beautiful? Try to find the beauty in this cloudy day. And then I want you to think about what a difficult day in your life is like. We've all had them. When was the last time you had your difficult day? What was it like? How did you react to it? Did you dismiss it? Did you just want the day to end? Or did you try to pause and ask yourself, okay, what am I feeling? And what are these feelings trying to tell me? What do I need to address? What do I need to change? Or what do I need to release? Think about what a difficult day in your life is like. How do you react to it? And then finally, can you remember a time when facing a tough day head on, it helped you grow or understand something better, right? Think about that time when you had a really tough day. Is there something that you can take from that that allowed you to grow or allowed you to understand something better? You know, as we finish, I want to go back to the start, to that window in the cloudy sky that's outside. Remember, it's important that it's okay to have days with gray skies. When your heart feels heavy and your mood is quiet, did you hear me? It is okay. Days like these are just as important as the sunny ones. They shape who you are. They teach you, if we let them, and they help you heal in their own different and subtle way. And life is like this big picture, right? With many colors and shades, cloudy days, sunny days, and all the days in between. They all matter. They all give life depth and contrast and richness. So the next time that you are under a cloudy sky, I want you to think about that fisherman and what he said. Remember, it's all right to just exist. Just like the sea stays the same, no matter if the sky is clear or filled with clouds. Mm. Enjoy the cloudy days. Thank you for listening. Thank you for living. And until next time, no matter the weather, be brave with heart. And join me again as we calm it down. To find more episodes of Calm It Down, see where I may be appearing in your area, or to simply want to know where to send me some chocolate chip cookies, visit calmitdownpodcast.com. This podcast was written and produced by yours truly, Chad Lawson, composer, pianist, and nationally recognized Sweet Tooth. The views, expressions, and techniques in this episode are of my personal opinion and not intended, nor should they, serve as a substitute for medical advice or diagnosis rendered to you by your individual doctor or other healthcare provider. Only a licensed physician should evaluate your situation, provide a diagnosis, or render other medical advice to you. 
And you should only act upon the advice of this physician. Now, I'm an extreme empath by nature, but my profession is that of a composer and pianist, not a licensed therapist or a physician. I hear from thousands of listeners how my music has helped them through various stages of emotional needs, and I simply want to offer this in future podcast episodes to aid those needs. So to find a list of licensed professionals in your area, please visit CometDownPodcast.com. And if you've enjoyed today's episode, please leave a review, or better yet, share it with a friend. While it takes less than 60 seconds to do, its impact will last for years to come as every little bit helps in growing the awareness and the importance of mental and emotional health. Thank you for listening. Thank you for living. And until next time, be kind to your mind and join me again as we calm it down. <laughs>